Greetings, I'm Katie O'Malley and I'm here with John Iverson from the National Post and we are talking about the great economic debate which took place on Thursday. John, do you think that this changed the course of the election? Well, I think it depends how many people have watched it. I mean, we're, we're, definitely we don't really fair, know definitely fair. Yet. Um, you know, if people did watch it or if they've seen clips or they've read about it, I think it does have the potential to change things because I think Mulcair had a very good night. Uh, he more or less seemed to ignore Stephen Harper, concentrated on bashing Justin Trudeau. He got some good zingers off and at the very end when he said, Justin, when your advisors tell you two different contradictory, contradictory things, you have to choose one, you can't say them both. It was as if he patted him on the head. And I think for a lot of people looking at it, they maybe didn't hear all the details, but they maybe heard two weighty, experienced guys and one guy who was a little bit like he was out of his weight class. It's interesting. We, I think we really expected to see a very strong per, uh, performance from Stephen Harper because this is one of his areas of expertise. He's the economist. This is his strength. I found that he was almost absent from the discussion during great chunks of it because, as you said, uh, uh, Mr. Mulcair and Mr. Trudeau really seem to be almost focusing on each other more so than on, uh, than, than on the Conservative leader. Do you think that that was a strategy or was that just kind of how it worked out? Well, I think they definitely tried to humanize him a little bit. They didn't want him to be... Uh, you know, the, the leader of the nasty party going after uh, his two opponents. So he was pretty measured. This was meant to be a very prime ministerial performance, I think. Uh, and I think it played to, to his strengths to an extent. He, he was able to, to get into some level of policy depth. He obviously displayed that he knows what he's talking about, even if you don't agree with him. Um, my worry, from, from if I was him, was that Mulcair was so strong that, that he may become the standard bearer and all the... Uh, the progressive vote coalesces around them, and then that's not good for Harper. Definitely not. Uh, all right, so we have one more English language debate. That's the foreign policy debate hosted by the Monk, uh, the Monk Debates Institute. That's later this month. Are you expecting to see a similar dynamic, or is that topic going to sort of shake up the way the leaders interact with each other? Uh, that one might be less comfortable for Harper, so he may have to be uh, be a little bit more strident. And uh, you know, I think it'll depend on what happens between now and then, where mm -hmm. the polls are, because Justin Trudeau may have to to do something uh, extraordinary to get back in the race here. All right, thanks so much for watching.